Hey, honey buzz, it is Janet. I want to come in and talk to you guys about business ideas that you can start under $100. But here's the even more better part. These are business ideas that I have actually done. So I'm not like some of the other videos where they tell you things that they think you should go do or things that they suggest you go do that they've never done. But I'm actually here to tell you about things that I've actually done. So let's not waste any time and let's get into it. One of the first things that, or business ideas, not things, one of the business ideas that I actually got into was tutoring. I and my brother-in-law had a tutoring agency and majority of the tutoring really was not tutoring. It really was more homework help, right? So you can become a homework helper, which is pretty much you are there to help the student complete their homework. So this is about more of a level. Of course, if I were you, I would choose a level that I'm comfortable with. So if you're comfortable with fifth grade, English, math, go ahead and, you know, share that or um, market or promote for that. But pretty much homework help is just that you're there to help the student get through their homework. This is good for like after school programs or parents who um, have their kids go to things like Boys and Girls Club. Um, yeah, other after school programs similar to that. Or you can just be a tutor that chooses a specific subject. Now, the two specific subjects that get the most, um, that have the most need is English and math. Of course, the more advanced you are in math, the more you are likely to get booked and you're going to get clients because a lot of clients who are looking for a specific subject, usually it's math and it's usually somewhere between algebra and calculus. Um, the great thing about this tutoring business is that you can do it offline and online and you can get contracts with your school districts, so your local schools, you can get contracts with them. And honestly, the entry for this is really about 50 bucks. Some, some business cards, some flyers, a website and having the knowledge and that's all you need to become a tutor so it's a great idea to become a tutor especially if you are very good at math and or english and now we can move on to respite what respite is is that this is for children with a disability and what their parents are offered are things called respite where the the family or the parent who is the sole caretaker or guardian of a child with disabilities um, gets certain hours from their local regional center that allots them time to pretty much get a break from um, for having time for themselves. Okay, what you can do is you can work with children who have disabilities, and pretty much you get paid for it right so most regional centers give somewhere between four to ten hours some some up to uh, 20 hours a week per client and it's pretty much similar to babysitting but you need to have a specific training in order to work with children with disabilities so um, one of the trainings can be applied behavior training or crisis prevention training pretty much where you are skilled enough to work with children who have disabilities um, and this was something that i did and it was actually a very personally rewarding job and let's be honest the money is very good um, this is sometimes upwards to thirty dollars an hour forty dollars an hour depending on the type of disability the child may have the good thing is that you can do it in home or you can do it out in the community and usually trainings for Working with children with disabilities, you guys, honestly, at a lot of community colleges are free 99s. You literally can go get trained for free and start running a respite business, okay? It's, again, rewarding personally, absolutely, working with children with disabilities, but it is also a very, very high-paying job, and the skills to get for training are free okay so if you guys have any questions about this definitely email me i don't have a problem with telling you um which route to go and the good thing about this is you can get your contracts from the city and or the county and specifically you want to if you're going to go into this type of work you want to become very good 
not friends, but you want to become very good familiar or become familiar with your local regional center or your local regional center. It's not that you need to know the people there, but you need to know the right people to contact and you definitely need to know the areas that they service, right? Because different regional centers service different areas. So make sure you look into what area you're looking to get into. But respite is very, very um, rewarding. Office organizer. Now, this is not a maid. This is not somebody that's uh, your personal assistant. This is literally somebody who comes in to organize your office space. Now, I actually did this. I actually fell into this. <laughs> um, I actually ended up doing independent contractors for State Farm. And what it was is that there were, um, I, there was, my mom knew a guy in her um, office building who was looking for somebody to come and organize his office space. And he was a state farm, independent state farm agent. So I went in and I literally organized his whole space. Hey, this is where your invoices are. Hey, this is where your stuff is, this, this, this. I got it all together. He paid me and I left, okay? This is not an assistant job. This is me coming in to organize your stuff. Pretty much I'm cleaning it all up. You keep it, you manage it. And then he actually ended up telling one of his other friends that I ended up doing it for another state farm agent. And then I ended up with the farmer's agent and I actually stopped doing it because people were not understanding that I was just an office organizer. I was not a assistant. So that's something that you can do if you're very good at organizing, especially if you're good at organizing um, things like finances, things like um, bookkeeping. If you're good at organizing, just say office space, like, hey, this is where this is. This is where this is. I labeled this and these are where these files are. If you are good at that, you definitely want to look into independent contractors or small businesses who need a service such as an office organizer. And you can even do it on contract where it's like, hey, because some of these independent contractors or smaller businesses, they don't need a day-to-day -day assistant, but they need somebody to come in maybe every three months, maybe every two months, just to pretty much reorganize what they have so they can keep everything afloat. Um, but you definitely want to look into small businesses because small businesses are usually the people who are willing to onboard office organizers because it's kind of like a, a one-time flat fee. Um, Definitely starting rate, if it was me, smaller businesses, maybe one to five people, definitely, you know, upwards 150, 200, 300, 500 dollars, anything over between five and 10, 500 plus, it's a very lucrative spot to be in and organizers is a actual thing. Like hardcore, there is a association for organizers. But if you wanna know that, let me know, I'll let you know. Um, so that was one of the businesses. And the good thing about being an office organizer, it's very, easy entry again something about fifty dollars some flyers some business cards a website pretty much you have to do the footwork and advertising yourself marketing yourself and putting your name out there and you guys know if you do not know one of the businesses that i started with ten dollars okay is a braiding business all right so you can braid for money okay and in my state california we do not need a license to braid so literally there is no license for braiding in California. I actually specialize in designs and children. I can work with children that are tenderheaded. I can work with smaller children. And you definitely want to look into this. If you already have the skill of braiding, you might want to go check out my other, right? You might want to go check out my other um, videos where I talk about how to start a braiding business. And actually, you guys, I don't have it here, but as a bonus, Another business that I started that is a low entry fee, right, is my fitness business. And the reason why I'm gonna say it's low entry is because before I actually started training people and before I actually got certified, I was already, tra um, not training, but I was already coaching people. So you can become a fitness coach as long as you have a transformation story or if you're able to get other people results in the fitness business, results actually count more than a certificate so if you have a transformation story where you were able to lose 25 50 or 100 pounds that right there can have you be a fitness coach all you'll need is an instagram a youtube and a blog and you are in business or in a way for people to pay you for um, your coaching or your workbooks or things like that so you guys I hope that this was helpful. These are some businesses that you can start without 
um, spending more than $100 and start making lucrative amount of money. Um, with tutoring, we were making every month with tutoring, we were making upwards to $5,000 a month. With respite, I was actually making somewhere up to $3,000 a month. I was doing it part-time weekends only. And as an organizer, organizer really was more freelance work. So like for each business at the time, and again, this was like years ago, you guys, I was charging somewhere between $100 and $150 to $500 per office I was organizing. And of course, braiding, I've shared with you guys, I've made $505,000 and with fitness, I've made more than $5,000 with fitness. So monthly, you can rack in a lot of money, or let me say a sustainable amount of money for a living by just investing $100. So you guys, make sure you guys are grabbing the 50-point checklist. For those of you who are brand new business owners, you definitely want to check out the 50-point checklist, where I tell you 50 things that you need to do in order to up and set up your business. And then you also want to join the prettymoneygang.com. That is our Facebook group where we are doing our master classes and our trainings. And you definitely want to join ASAP because I am going to be doing a seven day training. It's your pretty business CEO, how to set up your business for awareness and profit. And I hope this was helpful. I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye guys.